Hey guys, it's John back again. You know, someone sent me an email that um, and asked me to answer a question for them, and I thought it'd be a great uh, topic to put up on the actual channel because I think a lot of people might be asking the same question. So let me go ahead and read this entire thing, and I will. We'll talk about it. Many people speak of the need to be careful not to manifest the things that you don't want. The idea is that if you focus on something negative, that you're attracting it into your experience. While on a certain level that makes sense to me, I can't help but wonder when there are real problems to be dealt with, either in one's personal life or society, how can you do that without focusing on them? How do you pay attention to an issue like voting rights that really needs to be addressed without focusing on the problem and when you do that, are you attracting more of the same? When I think about serious issues, it's hard not to feel fear. What is the balance between fear as an effective motivator and fear that attracts more negative experience? First of all, fear is, a, is a, an effective motivator if, in fact, a tiger is about to eat you. You know, but... When that tiger's about to eat you, if you can keep your wits about you and not let fear take a hold of you, you'll, you're much more likely to do something that is more intelligent. Uh, one of the things that happens with fear in general is the body starts to go into a survival mode. And in that survival mode, it actually starts to store air. It also does another thing. It shuts down your cognitive brain. It says, okay, I'm in survival mode. I need air so I can run further and faster. And so in the, in the fear state, you are literally not able to think clearly, which is why actors on Broadway are literally trained to exhale and relax all their muscles when they, lose, when they forget their lines on stage. Because what happens is by exhaling and relaxing all their muscles, they're shutting off the fear response. All their lines rush right back into their head. Their cognitive thinking brain turns back on. So that, that's the first element of this this answer I'm going to give. Second element of this answer is the story of Mother Teresa. They asked her to go to an anti-war rally. She said, no, have a peace rally and I'll come. Think about that. She was aware that there was war. She understood that there was war, but she also understood that focusing on anti-war is focusing on war. What she's focusing on is the positive outcome. You can be very aware of, the, of societal ills and the negative states and things happening in your life, but unless you can shift yourself into the space of, I am creating a peaceful world, I am a, you know, thank you God for the, the free voting system we have in our, in our country. That's a great way to, you know, thank you God. So you're focused on the, on the easy you know, easy voting system that we have where all people are treated equally. That's a positive focus. Now, that positive focus is still focused on the fact that right now, right here, right now, things don't seem like they're, they're correct or they're, they're a good system. But I'm not focused on the not good system because the not good system is a residual effect of what's brought us to this point. If you keep doing the same focusing on the same thing, what happens is it's just like the definition of insanity. You keep doing the same thing and expecting a different result. You've got to, real, you've got to get rid of the, the idea of focusing on how bad it is and think about, okay, I am not going to do that. I am doing this. I am creating this joyful, easy way of voting, right? Uh, the war in Ukraine, one of the things that I was specifically talking about was don't focus on the war in Ukraine. Focus on peace and harmony between Russia and Ukraine. I'm still, I'm still thinking about what's going on in the world. I still have that. I know that that's happening. I'm not denying that. But I'm also not focusing on creating more of the same. You have to realize that when you're focusing, you are creating. And you know, God gives you what you are focused on. And if you are focused on the idea of bad voting rights, you know, voting rights that are unfair uh, or or uh, atrocities happening in society or what was the other thing you said? Something going on in your personal life. You know, for me, I, at 22, my back broke. And I could have easily said, well, I'm done because the doctors told me I was done. And instead, 
I said, no, I am a, I am a stuntman. I'm creating, I'm going to be a professional stuntman. I'm going to do sword fights. I did over 4,000 live comedy sword fighting shots shows all over the world, including the front lines of Iraq and Afghanistan. I had one of the most physical careers of anybody I know. And I did that because I did not focus on my bad back. I focused on, I am a stuntman. I'm, I'm doing the things, I'm becoming a stuntman, so that's where I'm focused. See, the, see, the, the idea of, um, of, actually, I just got distracted by something else in this message that I want to hit. The very first line. Many people speak of the need to be careful to not manifest. And that's what you don't want, okay? First of all, if, if you, you need to listen to different people because if they're telling you to be careful, they're giving you fear. If they're telling you, to be, why would you need to be careful? You only be, have to be careful if there's something to fear. If they're telling you to be careful, they're giving you fear. Listen to different people because those people are not, are not doing, giving you your best interest. Um, and, you know, they're telling you, oh, my God, if you don't, you know, if you, uh, if you don't do this correctly, if you don't do this correctly, you're going to manifest something you don't want. That, that, that's a power play, and that is telling, telling you, number one, that, that they know more than you, and number two is telling you as well that um, you need to be fearful, and you don't need to be fearful. Lo, that I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil. For thou art with me, right? Buddha said the secret to enlightenment is the eradication of fear. Getting rid of fear. Losing your fear. Swami Narayan said, because I am without fear, the lion gave me nothing to be fearful for. Okay? So don't fear anything when you're manifesting. Joyfully manifest. Joyfully, excitedly, with great anticipation of the positive outcome. Same thing with voting rights. Joyfully, lovingly anticipate equal voting rights in this country for all people so that we can have a, a, a free and open society where everyone has their say. It's much different than, my God, the voting rights are so bad. Everything is terrible. Everybody's, they're screwing everybody over and the, the gerrymandering and, the, and all the stuff, right? What, the reason why you know about the ger- gerrymandering is because it is the anomaly against something loving. And so it is, it is being shown to the world. And the reason why, um, the reason why experiences of taking rights away from people is, ha- is being shown to the world because it's an anomaly. There are more people who want a loving, caring, open world than there are people who want to judge and dictate and rule. And you know, every dictator in the world has usually come to a bad ending. A bad ending. And, and there's, in my personal opinion, there's one in the world right now who's going to come to a bad ending. And I think it's going to be at the hands of his own people. Because that's usually how it happens. Their own people take them out. And the reason this is happening is because they are the anomaly. Everybody in the world is moving towards something more positive, more inclusive. And as far as voting and, man- and manifesting, your job is not to focus on the, the bads and the ills. Your f- job is not to focus on anti-war because anti means nothing in manifestation. You're focused on war. And you want to make sure you're focusing on joyful, loving, open, free. No, you, know, you, don't wanna, you don't even want to focus on no fear. You want to focus on joyful, loving, and just negate fear because fear is just an emotional reaction to some future event that may or may not happen with you focused on a negative outcome. Fear is just negatively focused on certainty because if you were not focused on a negative outcome, if you were focused on a positive outcome, you would not be afraid. And that's the important part of this. Fear is your choice. You get to choose to fear or not to fear. That is the question. To fear or not to fear. So this is my thought on your on your comment. Thank you so much for sending the comments in. Uh, for all of you guys who are watching this, this was the last comment that I had on my list. So um, 
if you have any more, keep sending them. I'm always looking for more video content and more questions to talk about. And, you know, I don't ask you to believe anything I'm saying, but all I ask you to do is find your own personal truth. Find the personal truth within yourself. If something I said today rings true to you, follow it. If it doesn't, don't get mad because I'm not judging you and you shouldn't judge me because I may not be right and you may not be right. It doesn't matter who's right. Do you want to be right or do you want to be happy? That's really something I want you to think about. You guys have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. See ya. Bye. Thank you, my friends, for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure that you've subscribed and you like it, you share it, but also comment below it. Let's get this community talking about these topics and, and spreading this information out far and wide so that we can change the world for the better. Thank you.